Rwanda seeks to reach 100% clean water supply in the entire country by year 2020. Currently, the country produces 140,000 cubic meters per day, but the target is to produce 240,000 cubic meters per day. Now, to realize this ambitious target, uh, the government of Rwanda has been working with different partners, among them Caligan International, a US-based organization that has been in existence for 80 years. One project that Caligan has been involved in is in Zove 2 water treatment plant that was launched on Monday by President Paul Kagame. In the studios of Rwanda Television, I'm joined by Lawrence Boa, the president of Carrigan International. Welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, what is your market niche that uh, made Carrigan win a contract to supply clean water in Kigali City? Well, firstly, let me say we're very proud and honoured to be here as part of this project to increase the water availability and quality to Kigali. Um, we won the project because we have a unique technology called off-sea technology which is able to deal with the very challenging quality of water in the river and treat it to drinking water standards. It's also a technology that is very, very cost effective, both in terms of the capital cost for building the plant, but also in terms of operating costs. Mm. And our plant will operate with $1 million per year less operating costs than the existing plant. The Zove 2 power project has won the best drinking water category award within Caligani Network, beating other projects from Russia, Italy, Poland, and other countries. What is about this project? Well, this is a very prestigious award within the Culligan Network and is being presented in California on the 25th of April at our 80th anniversary celebration so is, is doubly special because of this and this project won because of as I mentioned before the challenging nature of the water quality that we're having to treat here but also because the project was a very fast track project but this project had a construction time of only eight months so it was one of the fastest projects we've ever undertaken mm -hmm. the key part as well was that we worked in true partnership with WASAC and with the Ministry, so it was a one-team approach to deliver the project in such a short space of time. Yeah, we cannot talk about the success okay. of a project and uh, Zove 2 water treatment plant without uh, talking about the challenges. What were some of the challenges that you encountered in implementing this project? There are a number of challenges. First of all, the, the quality of the water in the river was very challenging. Also, the construction of the raw water intake at the river, again, was a, a challenging civil construction project. And we did, as I mentioned, have a few delays in terms of shipping and bureaucracy at the ports, which we had to overcome in order to meet the deadline mm. that the government had set on us to deliver the plant within that eight-month period. At the inauguration of the Nzove 2 water project, you say that Caligan was due to set up its regional offices in Kigali. Why Rwanda? Well, Rwanda is a, is a very good country to do business in, and thanks to the leadership of your president and the government, there's a really stable economic climate here and is easy to do business in, in Rwanda. So we took the decision to make this our base to cover all of Central and East Africa. How many countries will, will, will you be serving? Um, well, probably four or five initially. Rwanda's leadership seems to have faith in Caligan International in its journey to meet its water and sanitation target by year 2020. And I quote President Paul Kagame when he said that uh, there is a lot that is going to be saved and ultimately gained from the expertise of Caligan and their technology in processing of water. That was President Paul Kagame speaking about you while he was launching the Nzove 2 water treatment plant on Monday in Nyarujanja district. Now, do you see Caligan International winning more contracts from the government? Well, firstly, we were delighted and honored to hear President Paul Kagame's words. It, it was a real honor. Um, yes, we hope to, to win more contracts here. We're already starting work on the second phase of the project, which will take the water capacity up to 80,000 cubic meters per day. And after that, we're going to look to work on the infrastructure to make sure that we can get the water to the, from the plant to the people who need it in all parts of the city. The African Union last year uh, gave the government of Rwanda a responsibility to ensure access to uh, water and sanitation in all the African Union member countries amounting to 10. Do you see yourselves in the near future being part of this journey? Well, that's one of the reasons why we've chosen to base ourselves here in, in Kigali in, in Rwanda. Um, trust is built by performance, and we believe we've performed very well 
in terms of delivering this plant on time and on, on budget and we hope to be able to do that all across the region. Do you think Rwanda will achieve its water and sanitation target by 2020? Absolutely we believe that Rwanda will achieve its target by 2020 because of the way they've set up the partnerships with companies such as ours. We're here to help deliver and achieve that target and we're very committed to do so. Thank you very much Mr Lawrence for coming to the show. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Thank you. I was speaking to Lawrence Boa, the president of Kaligan International, a US-based organization that has been involved with Nzove 2 water treatment plant that is now supplying 25,000 cubic meters of water to the Kigali City Water Network. Thank you so much for being part of the show. See you soon. Bye-bye.